Organizing your beauty products at home like a professional. My name is Cassandra Bankson, and yes, I'm a professional medical esthetician. I've been in the beauty industry for over 15 years, and I have over a thousand products. And keeping them organized and optimized for my morning routine can be a nightmare, especially since I'm someone who does have ADHD. We're here in Arizona at some of the Woodside homes that are absolutely gorgeous. Thankfully, over the years, I have found ways to optimize my storage solutions and my space to hold my products, but also get me ready in the morning in as little as five minutes. And I'm going to share some of those key takeaways with you. For example, toothbrush and skincare products by the sink, or even in one of these hidden mirrored medicine cabinets. These are one feature in Woodside Homes that I absolutely love. Not only can I use the mirror to see other areas of the back of my head when I'm doing my hair, or even my body acne, but I can also store products in here in a really organized fashion. As someone who has so many products, I do not use them all on a daily basis. A lot of people, and specifically some of the clients that I work with, try to organize their product by type. They put all of their cleansers in one place, then their toners in another, their moisturizers over here, and their sunscreens, etc. This can actually get really confusing because in order to do your morning or evening skincare routine, you're having to go to five different locations. I actually like to build skincare routines for my skin's different moods. Specifically, is my skin a little bit more dry? Am I oily and having a breakout? Or is my skin really sensitive? I have a three to five step routine for each of these, and I can actually set them aside in some cute little trays or in a drawer. Another key tip for me are these soft closed drawers. As someone with ADHD, I can actually be a little bit physically klutzy, or I'm kind of prone to slamming drawers and doors. These soft closed drawers are essential for me because if there's someone in the house who's sleeping and I don't wanna wake them up, I can slam these as hard as I want and they don't make a sound. Not to mention, I can't really damage anything. <laughs> Another big issue that I found with my ADHD, but also with clients who don't have ADHD, is that if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. You may have heard of this or experienced it, but if something is at the very back of a very deep drawer, you forget that you have it, you buy another one, and you realize that your old one is about to expire because you didn't use it. Go to a store or shop online for a Lazy Susan. You might be familiar with these from restaurants or even kitchen storage, but these work so well for skincare products. You can put a circular Lazy Susan in the back of a drawer, and this makes it so easy to spin around and flip through your different products. Make sure that the labels are all facing forward so you can see them, but this prevents me from losing anything in the back of my drawers, and I'm saving money as well as making sure that I use my products before they expire. Another thing that's unique to me are visual cues. Whether it's making sure that my purse and my keys are visual before I leave the house, or that my skincare routine and my toothbrush is visual by the sink, it's really important to make sure I don't miss a step. However, for other people, they can kind of get frustrated that I have these piles throughout the house. These are almost like my little visual reminders or to-do lists. What's great about a split vanity is making sure that my space is separate from a partner's or a guest's. This means that any of my piles or any of my products are not getting in their way. And if they like to keep their space super clean, they're not seeing any of my daily essentials. Or if my partner or my friend is an absolute mess and they have bottles and products and things spilling everywhere, I don't have to deal with it because I have control of my space. <laughs> Another bathroom hygiene tip actually speaks about your toothbrush and your oral health. A lot of people don't think to protect their toothbrushes from germs and microbes that circle throughout the air. If you think about it, when you flush a toilet, a lot of those particles can actually get dispersed into the air. Make sure that the toilet is actually sealed off behind a door in a room like this one at the Woodside Homes. If you don't have a toilet that's separated with a door like this, there are other things you can do. You can number one, close that toilet seat, but there's also things like SteriPods, these little containers that you can actually put on top of your toothbrushes. This protects them from any microbes and keeps them clean. Also, a lot of dentists and oral hygienists actually recommend soaking your toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide to keep it clean about once a week. I didn't actually know this, and when I started doing that, my toothbrushes last a lot longer and I feel like everything is much cleaner. Another thing that I like to do to make sure that my morning routine is optimized along with my storage is to think about my getting ready journey. What are the steps that it takes me to get ready? As someone with ADHD, I am prone to getting distracted. So if my bathroom has my skincare, I can do that along with brushing my teeth and applying my sunscreen, and I can walk directly into this gorgeous walk-in closet. I can put on my clothes, put on my shoes, and as I'm walking out of the house, passing by the kitchen, I make sure that I see my coffee, my keys, and my purse. I'm not forgetting anything because I've already mentally prepared for what my journey is through the home on my way out the door. Doing this would have helped me so much when I was getting ready for school as a child. Unfortunately, my mom also has 
has ADHD and so we were usually running five minutes late, spilling coffee while driving down the road, and yes, I was sitting there trying to sift through a backpack and find my homework. Having a space that's actually optimized for my needs and for my morning has been monumental. And as a professional who does explore and experience the world, I now am really happy to say that I'm that person that even with ADHD is five minutes early. And I always have my items organized and with me on time. If you're curious about what's in my personal routine, make sure that you subscribe to Woodside Homes on YouTube and other social media. And mental health is a huge topic of its own. Woodside actually has some other content coming on that, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Share this video with a friend who could use a little bit of organization help, and we'll see you in this next video.